Here's the tale of two students, both working adults. He commutes to college before and after work, carrying all the baggage that goes with it. She goes to Independence University, and Independence University goes with her. It's online, so all she needs is a connection, and anywhere becomes her campus. He's getting a degree, but he's also getting majorly stressed out. She chose Independence University online for a better life offline. Visit independence.edu or call 800-370-1077 today. Blog Talk Radio. Yeah, this is the Do A Show show again. It's not Jonah Gary. Sorry. Uh, I'm Nalax. Uh, we got Faith here, too. No problem. Yeah. Uh, Ed's show cut out quickly tonight. He claimed he was at the Mountain West tournament, so... Just yeah, to get he's getting ready to watch UNLV go down. Again. He's getting ready to watch UNLV go down to Air Force. Is that who's playing? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Here in about time is it? Yeah, in about half an hour. That sounds like a very exciting game. Uh, I don't know, I, I I don't really believe the Air Force is gonna pull it off, but I I'd like for that to happen because if they if they pull it off then we're uh that's one less threat that we have to worry about. Although, ultimately, you and I would probably have to play San Diego State if we beat BYU anyway. So, I don't think it really matters. But You kids played today, right? You what? played Colorado State. You kids played Colorado State today, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, it was pretty, uh, pretty close for most of it. And then UNM started running away with it at the end. I was, I mean, I'm still just kind of come off from my uh, trip to the bar. I downed a couple of couple of drinks, so I'm still not fully recovered yet. <laughs> no big deal. It happens. What the fuck is major minority? Is he on the line yet? Um, no. I kid's a bum. Uh, Hold on, Go Braves is on the board right now. They're on the. I'm telling him to call in. in we, can, we can discuss the uh, the Amos call. Yeah, the Amos because he's a fag. I'm trying to get him to call in. Yeah, because you know that Amos kid, that Amos kid's not going to hear this show anyway. We can discuss it. I mean, I threw it up on the board, but that fag doesn't check the board anyway, so. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, well there you go. Uh, looking at the switchboard, still nothing. Wow. This show is lost today. That game was awful. Which game? Which game? Pit. Pit played UConn. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't see that one. I missed. I missed most of the games earlier because I. Uh, I was at school class. Day. Yeah, I couldn't. I I was. Fucking dying almost the entire day. I mean, yeah, I blew off my one. I blew off the one class I had today because uh, it was just a review session. Yeah, I blew off my last one so I could go watch the the Lobos game. I only have one class tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna blow that off too because all we're doing is playing Jeopardy for review. And That's yes, we Jeopardy? do still play. Yeah, we still do play Jeopardy and uh. College. Huh. We have finals next week, so everybody's just getting ready for that. I mean, this this entire week has just been a waste. Amazing. How do you have finals like it? What, what month is this? March? Yeah, how do you have finals in March? We're on the trimesters. 
We got oh, yeah, 10 I'm weeks. Drunk. And uh, we started in, like, beginning of January, so. I mean, we're back next week, I think, or the, the 28th, we start class up again, so. No, I haven't. Yeah, why are we doing it again? Yeah, uh, well, because Ed called the show early, and then uh, apparently I thought there was going to actually be more enthusiasm for this than there was because Ed called the show early. And as a matter of yeah, fact, I, I put so my hand up at the end of the show. Like I had, it really? had said, like you're now in the host queue because I tried to keep him going, but uh, yeah. Uh, Dell probably yeah. just shut it down by then. Yeah. Too bad we can't call out on this thing. Well, but uh, well, yeah, I forget we're on the on the free one, man. But even back then, we couldn't call out on it, could you? No. Huh. Uh, will this show turn into a, an abortion in a hurry? <laughs> yeah. Uh, fourth suggests that we just start telling jokes. Uh, I I don't really have any jokes. I guess we could start talking about the uh, this Dan Ochara hit. That was a pretty good hit. Yeah. Uh, they were talking about that um, a little bit on LCS last night. I wasn't listening too closely, though. But uh, really, I really don't think it was that bad. Yeah, I don't either. I just think it was wherever you – I mean, like, it was just unfortunate where he was on the ice. I don't necessarily think it was – I mean, it it was pretty routine. I mean, the call, the call to uh, – Given the five minute interference plus the uh plus the uh suspension for the rest of the game or the ejection. Uh that was all just reactionary. I mean really any p- other part of the ice and if he doesn't get hurt, I mean he still just yeah, has a minute have... penalty that he was originally getting called for. Yeah, nothing would have been called. Uh, I don't Yeah. Uh, I think it's funny too because now they're trying to get the the cops involved. It's just fucking hilarious. They act like yeah. They act like it was a Tom Bertuzzi Steve Moore thing where he drove his head into the ice from behind and punched him. I mean, it's... it's yeah, it was <laughs> like that. I mean, it was a routine hit on the on the board that just happened at the uh, turnbuckle thing there. Yeah, same thing happened to Ryan Smith like two years ago, I remember, and they carted him off on a stretcher and he came back, I think, like two games later. I, I don't think this kid's coming back for a while, though, because... Uh, what he broke his yeah. neck, like some vertebrae in his neck. Yeah, last thing I saw is he had like a crack. I think he had like a four, uh, he cracked like his fourth vertebrae or something, and then I think he had like a, a just class four like concussion. A, like a major, yeah, like a major concussion or something. But I don't, I, I haven't yeah. read too much about it except for for the one thing where like Montreal now is trying to like file charges on the guy, and it's like give me a break. Yeah, I don't understand why they're trying to press charges. I mean, I guess the, all I don't the understand uh, what they're. I don't understand what, what like what their. I guess their reasoning is well because this guy got hurt, but they're like, well, I mean, like, what, what are they trying to say that? Chara knew what the hell he was doing, or like he planned that out. I don't think you can really make a case for that. I really don't think so either. I you can't really tell intent from that. I, just, like, I, I really don't. Sudden, when something like. I, I just think it's funny, like, whenever something like this happens, it's automatically, everyone automatically can read minds and everyone knows what his intent was. Automatically. Yeah, exactly. Never fails. Never fails. I mean, there had been some bad blood, apparently, between the two, because, uh, what, the last game they played in, there were a whole bunch of fights and everything. That was the one where uh, it was Carey Price versus Tim Thomas, right? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, yeah and I guess they had a lot of bad blood from there. and Apparently, somebody said right after the uh, goal Patrick Reddy scored in the first game, he kind of got into it with Chara, so maybe it was a little bit of payback. But, I mean, I can pretty much vouch to say that he wasn't basically like, oh, I'm going to run him right into the turnbuckle and fucking give him a concussion. What's funny is, I mean, I I don't know. It, it, I could be wrong, but the next time they play, I, I don't think anyone goes after Chara either. Like, that dude's going to oh, fuck no. anyone up that, that goes after him. There's just there's just no chance in hell anyone's going to go after that guy. The only uh, guy I've ever seen uh, go after Chara was uh, George LaRock. And 
that uh, guy is on the job. Tried, with, uh, David Kochi tried fighting him too, and then got uh, torn apart pretty badly. From what I recall. All right, uh, you can hold on, we, got, we got somebody here. Uh, six three zero. Hey kids. What's going on, Dodge? Hello. Not much, man. Uh, calling in on my iPod. You're calling in on your iPod? Yeah. How are you How doing do that? that? Uh, my iPod has a Skype app. I have uh, a Skype subscription. So I'm able to use, yeah, as long as I've got Wi-Fi, right? I can use my iPod to call. Wow. Yeah, That's true. technology is like wonderful. Calling in 10 minutes late and turning the show into an abortion. I'm sure it was already an abortion. I haven't been listening, but just going by track record, I'm guessing. Yeah, previous yeah, I mean, track record been... show, this just sucks. That's the point it's of doing a show, so that it could this. suck. Hockey talk? Yeah. Huh, okay. We're talking about the Zidane Chara hit from last night. Did you, did you end up seeing that? I have not seen it. No. I, I've heard a much yeah. talk about it. but uh, no. Yeah, apparently Montreal Hockey's is trying kind of to like, yeah. Hockey's pretty much over the world right now. Yeah, it, it's depressing trying to watch hockey now. I can, I can barely stomach it myself. Yep, I got tickets for Christmas for the Avs game tomorrow, so I was like all excited at Christmas time. And over the last two months, <laughs> it's just gotten less and less and less exciting. So now it's like, yeah, I'm still gonna go because hey, it was, you know I got good seats and you know tickets, Christmas present, and that whole thing, but. I'm much more confused about tomorrow night's Avs Ducks game. I was going to say, play you if you, can a, if you can get a refund. <laughs> a refund from a gift from StubHub? Probably not. Uh, Who are the Avs playing tomorrow? Play anything, yeah. They're playing the uh, Mighty Ducks of Anaheim, even yeah. though they're not the Mighty Ducks anymore. I still want to call them that. I can't believe they actually played the Ducks this year. 77 points. Speaking of the Ducks, how about Spluzer coming back? Yeah. He I thought that kid was dead for sure. Yeah, his sentence must have been up. It's the only explanation that makes sense. We just got to find out if he dropped the soap or not. Huh. Did you end up calling him? I'm guessing not. Who? Major Major Minority. Minority. Did up yeah. No, he's. I mean, what you said he was driving somewhere. Well, he said that he said that he was going to be uh, driving home, so he was going to have to call in a few minutes late. Now, this is more than a few minutes now. We're at thirteen minutes past eleven. Well, he was being polite. Seeing how he really seeing how him. Asians drive, seeing how Asians drive. I mean, he could be like in the middle of like. The Hudson River right now, for all we know. Well, probably. I watched his uh, his suggestion for the He Man Movie Watchers Club that we're going to do a week after this Saturday. Uh, Shutter uh, Island. Watch right. that movie. I think we'll I think we'll have a That's good discussion. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it is a good movie. Is it on the Netflix? Can I am I able to, am I going to be yeah. able to watch it? That's the only way I watch movies, dude. Yeah, you can watch it on Netflix. Yep. Well, I mean, we couldn't watch Roxanne. What was up with that? What are the freaking odds? That's been in my, like, Netflix queue for, like, a year. And then when I go to finally actually watch the thing, it's gone that same week that we decided to do it for the Movie Watchers Club. That was kind of BS. They just threw up a whole uh, a whole lot new new uh, movies on it. So, uh, like, I just looked, uh, Stripes is on there. So I'm probably going to watch Stripes again tomorrow. I'm not a huge fan of Stripes. It's okay. Really? But it loses all... It loses, it's okay. It's got some funny parts to it. But then, like, halfway through it, it loses all momentum. Like, it it goes from being pretty good to being like, what is going on here? I don't know. It, I'm a big Bill Murray, Murray fan. It, but, so... Yeah. I don't know, the, it's definitely, like, a tale of two movies. The first half is great, up until yeah, uh, half right half. after the um, graduation scene where he says it's party time Italian style. Party time, yep. Exactly. That's where it dies. And then yeah, the exactly. end is like limping to the finish. Huh. 
Yeah. What movie is this? Drapes? Yes, Bill Drapes. Murray goes to the art Murray. Yeah. If I'm going to Bill Murray, I think I'd go to do uh, Groundhog's Day. Or Scrooged. Or Ghostbusters. Oh, the best Bill Murray uh, movie ever is Ghostbusters. Can't, can't beat it. It's up there. Yeah. Actually, probably the best Bill Murray movie ever is Lost in Translation, but he's not the funny, goofy 1980s Bill, Bill Murray in that one. He's like a serious actor, Bill Murray, which is a little weird, but he does a good job of it. So, no, it, and plus it's Bill Murray is Peter ba- is Peter Bakeman is by far the best role he's ever done. Yeah, it's definitely but up there. He was all that great in uh, what was it? Uh, Caddyshack. He wasn't all that great. I mean, he was okay. Was Caddyshack bad, is but... freaking overrated. Caddyshack is what's not that one movie? Of the people. Uh, what's that, like, summer camp movie that he did? Uh, Meatballs uh, or something? I don't, I don't know. think he did that one. If you he, see what that about one? Mob? I, I like what about There Mob. was one he did. It was, like, one of the first movies he did, probably. He was really young in it. And, oh. yeah, Meatballs. Oh, that meatball? was pretty fun. Yeah, it was all right. It's like, I don't know, wacky hijinks of counselors and campers at a less than average summer camp. That's the IMDb, I guess, summary. <laughs> Early 80s comedies? I don't know. I think they're, they leave a little bit desired. <laughs> like right around 1984 is when it starts getting good. But before that, I don't know. There's a lot of iffy stuff. There really haven't been a lot of good well, comedies lately, either. Oh, there's been a, there's been a few. Like, The Hangover yeah. was good. Yeah, The Hangover was good. Uh, one of my I've heard good uh, favorite... About, one of the better movies I that I saw last year was uh, Hot Tub Time Machine. I've heard that's quite good. I have not seen it. I thought that movie was fantastic. Uh, what were you saying about Pineapple Express? I've heard good things about it, but, like, I've also Uh-oh. heard terrible things about it. It's like one of those, like, polarizing movies that you either love or hate. Yeah, everybody likes that movie, but I, I can't stand it. I've never seen it, I, so I can't really comment. I hate Seth Rogen in general, so kind of throws it yeah, on to it. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of him. Or, uh... you've never heard of a... Oh, oh, ever, uh, co-host of the Oscars, <laughs> Franco. All right, Sorry, uh, yeah, hold on one second. We got another call. <laughs> Uh, nine one four. You're on. Yo. Yeah. Ah. Drew. Hey, what's going on, guys? I don't know why we're doing. Why are we doing a show? I'm gonna do a show. Show feed. Because because uh, this is exactly why we're doing a show. Because Ed wanted to talk boxing and Pontiac didn't want it to happen, so he decided to call the show early because I was gonna talk some boxing with Ed. So then he ruined it for everyone. And then we have to listen to this I block of the show. Anything. Uh, you didn't want boxing well, talk. You were playing in the in, you were playing in the chat room before. You wanted boxing talk. Yeah. Well, who listened? Major to Minority me? was crying earlier for a show too. Well, he was crying earlier because Pontiac thwarted the boxing talk attempt. You know, if it's between yeah. boxing talk or no show, I think I might choose no show. Yeah, I think well, I would that's too. Exactly why, that's exactly why we're doing this show. I'm glad I have this kind of power. I didn't even realize it. So. Well, yeah, you have the power to ruin fake radio yeah. for the rest of America. Thanks. Well, uh, you're welcome. I watched I watched Shutter Island a couple nights ago, Drew. I'm looking forward to the discussion. I think there's a lot to talk there. I know you know yeah, that because we were texting back and forth today, but it should be good. I think you should. I think if you have time, you should watch it again and then. Uh, Look at it from the perspective of maybe, you know, the whole thing was a he's game not. for him. Yeah, yeah, that he's not. Nice. No, 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 but but not 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 that uh, he was actually. Well, he was crazy, but uh, not. Yeah. That he was crazy in the way they said he was crazy, but uh, you know, they constructed this whole thing to implant memories or something like that. I still don't think he you're was crazy. Pretty good though. Or, I would no, like to think not. he wasn't if crazy. You're crazy. Or, he's not, well, he was crazy. I mean, I would, I would just like to think he wasn't crazy, but he was crazy. No, not that. Actually, no, he was crazy. His wife was freaking crazy. Yeah. But, oh. 
Yeah, yeah let's not, well, I don't think we should ruin too much. Yeah, Face hasn't seen the movie, so he has no idea what we're talking about. But uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, when, when you started talking about the movie, I kind of zoned out into the game I'm watching. So it's over? It. Yeah, that's what happens when you start talking boxing. I just kind of do the same, so I feel you. Well, then, okay, but what was the problem about having it talked on the show? Like, what was I don't the want problem? to glaze over. If you're just going to zone out anyway, if you're going to zone out anyway, then what was the problem? I have a very busy time schedule, Face. I can't just be zoning out over boxing talk. I have lots of podcasts to listen to. No, what if you, no, you would zone out to where you wouldn't want to pay attention to the show, and then you would do your work. Instead of listening to an entire hour of The Ed Show and oh. not doing your work, I would actually be well, like contributing to hey, your work because you wouldn't want to listen to the show. My busyness has to do with listening to podcasts, not because I want to get my work done. Man. So if I'm working well, time, not your work done. See, if podcast. anything, I'm saving your job. Because the last time you had a job, <laughs> you, you got you got laid off, and then you can't even be in the chat room anymore because of it. So now I'm trying to avoid that from happening again. Yeah. I was going to be in the yeah. chat room for a little bit this week, but like they've, they, they've got a new filter on, and it's slowly learning my habits. I'm worried that soon it's going to take away the message board, and I'll actually have to be productive at work. <sighs> but... Actually, I get a ton done even as I'm listening to things. So, and even as I'm checking the message board and texting Drew, I can multitask. Why don't you just quit your job and then go find somewhere else that has like no filters on their computers? Like, put that in your put that on your resume, like <laughs> uh, as a note or something. Yeah. Like, would prefer no filter right. on the computer, or like put the the two yeah. sites that you want to visit, and make sure yeah. that they don't block those sites out on your particular computer. Them. Yeah. I just need to make friends with somebody in IT who can unblock all the things I need. That'd be great. Or just get a get a smartphone like your mother has. Yeah. Well, I do. well, you know, I can do a lot with the iPod. You can't edit audio on your iPhone. You can't do, like, you know, show prep stuff on there. So I can do most anything I need to from work except for chat, which doesn't help productivity at all. But you're here and there. This is a good oh. show, fellas. I'm glad we're keeping up the standards of the Do A Show show. Uh, there's no. been worse. There's been much worse. Well, if worse. people needed it, after a month and a half high betas, people needed it. Has it really been a month and a half since did one of these atrocities? I think the last uh, one was like January 23rd. The last one, the last one was the yeah. AFC title game, I think. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Ah, right. Yep. Wow, that's uh, yeah. something. I've got an, an hour and 15 minutes of, of highlights from the first 99 shows. Face, is that? Should I get any more? Or are we going to talk about for 45 minutes, or should I do partially a regular show, like do the news and stuff? What should I do Saturday? Like, did you get Did you get highlights for from every single show, like literally, or did you just no. get like a no. crap ton of highlights? A smattering. I just got a smattering of some. There's some like in the middle, like in the shows in the 40s and the 50s and stuff. That my phone was uh -huh. just atrocious. The sound was terrible. I'm glad that's not doing wow. that anymore. Where like you were like super duper loud, and then I was super duper quiet. Like yeah, I remember. Yeah, before I got before I finally got a got a new phone, I remember. Well, then then there was a period of time where I was using this earpiece that was like really crappy. Yeah. Well, the sound quality uh, like the last three shows or so has been tremendous. So, I think part of it was your phone just being super loud. And then mine, like, the wiring for it was really bad. Like, I had it plugged into a, a jack that was not wired very well, so I moved the phone to a different jack, and it's been wonder working wonderfully ever since. So that's why I was so quiet. Are you counting down these clips on VSR, or is it just in any order? No. Just do them. In, I haven't really decided what order. I might go chronological from oldest to huh. newest. or I don't know. I haven't decided. There's, like, I think right now I have, like, 14 clips. Some of them are oh, long, that, some of them are short. Yeah, because I was the ad at the swap meet a part of it. Yeah, I was going to vote for that. Yeah, I, I, one. Of course I've got ad at the swap meet, yeah. There's actually yeah. two different clips that I had to split that one up because like halfway between he had to go do something and we ended up talking about something for a little bit. So we've got that. we got all sorts of stuff. I don't want to... What about the... What uh, episode was that that he went to the swap meet? 40? Was it? It was forty, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Is there forty or forty-one? Listen to that one. Well, you'll be able to hear it on Saturday. 
I got the clip, dude. Uh, the entire thing or what? Well, all of the uh, swap meet talk, yeah. Oh, that was a pretty oh, good no. episode altogether. So. Yeah. Did you clip yeah, up the, uh, the argument he had with, uh, with the elevation about uh, boxing in UFC? Uh, yeah, I didn't get that. I, I missed that one. Too bad. Yeah. Oh, there's no, how could you get that one? Yeah, there's plenty of that highlights. Tonight I was just uh, downloading the one where he uh, says that if the Saints can convert on fourth and one, then Chase can beat him up. If not, then he couldn't. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty good. Was that uh, yeah. during the uh, – was that the Chase show? the Saints show? Seahawks. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep, when Trace was on the first hour, and we talked like we were sports geeks. Yeah, you I was did one a, right after. I, I uh, I, 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 you did one right after, like the U.S. lost in the World Cup, didn't you? Yep. Yep. Like did that one make you? Because that was a lot of oh, no. self. I don't know, just like depression right there. I don't remember much about that show. Other than, like, the first time I came out, I'm like, greetings and salutations, people. <laughs> like, I was all bummed. <laughs> all right, guys, let's go. Uh, when we scored that, you when go we scored that goal against, against Algeria, that was probably one of the, like, funniest moments in the ch- in the chat room ever. Like, the oh, amount yeah. of like, excitement and the things that were being oh, cha- uh, typed in there. I still, like, will sometimes try and track it down in the archives. Just because it, I, I think like the amount, I don't know. It was just, it was such a funny freaking time. Like so many classes. I think it was. Day. I think it was me, moment. face, and uh, hey. well, the thing is, all the archives are gone. Fun. Yeah, I know that sucks. But oh, well, I gotta go too. So I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, all right. Yeah. See ya. Well, yeah, yeah. Actually, I have to Wait. go too because. I, I have homework to do, and I have to eat dinner and stuff, and it's like 11.30 over here. Oh, so yeah, I, I have like I'm not doing it. Two minutes left. Yeah, but listen, so. I, I'll leave you with this. If if I could control any part of my body, right? I was thinking about this today. I, I think I'd pick my bowels because, you know, you can control whether it comes out soft or hard. You, you can, you know, hold in the farts and let them out. I think that would be can't, fantastic. Can't, can't, can't you do that anyway? I mean, I can do that. Pretty good at that. Oh no, you can't. You can't predict if it's going to be brown or green or. Uh... No, but I mean, why, why do you? But why does it matter though? Why do you? Why do you care if it's be brown or green? It's going to be flushed down anyway. No, nah, it'd be neat. Just think why about does, it. Why think does about it need to be neat though? Oh, it would be neat. But I don't. I don't. Under, I don't understand the, the, the appeal of it though. I mean, I just, you know. Ah, uh, you can you can control the odor. So if you wanted to smell like uh, egg sandwiches, there you go. Well, I mean that, that yeah, the, the controlling the odor thing would be cool, I guess, but I don't understand. Oh, yeah, I'm why guessing it was a, controlling the colors. I'm guessing it was a slow day at work then. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, no, it's never a slow day, but my, you know, my mind's always going a mile a minute. But anyway, yeah, uh, discuss amongst hey, yourselves. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you go, tell America about that uh, that broad that you were telling me about that works for you. Oh, it's all. Did you it's say about all the stuff idiot. that you were, but, but you were trying to, you were asking your questions like. Uh, she thought New England was a country. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, what exactly? Yeah, the lax. She she asked me, uh, "Where's New England?" And I said, uh, "I just looked at her like she was crazy." And then she said, "No, well, I know it's part of New York, but what part?" And I told her, "No, no, it's not New York." And she's like, "Yes, it is." She, no, wait, I don't mean New England, the country. I mean New England and New York. You gotta wow. be kidding me. Yeah, yeah. But but I never corrected her. I never said anything to her. I just kept looking at her like she was crazy. <laughs> you should have told her it was like one of the boroughs of New York. And then what did she say that she breathes? Uh, she breathes H two O. Or uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said she has to do she has to do a, pro- a forensics project on air. And I said okay. And she said, Hey, you know what I'm talking about, right? I said, No, I don't know what you're talking about. What kind of forensics project would you have to do on air? She's like, You know, like H two O. And again, I looked at her like she was crazy. She said, No, no, I mean like the air you breathe, like carbon dioxide. <laughs> yes, she is a future. Uh, she is a future forensics uh, scientist or whatever you call them. I mean, that, that's her right there. Future of America. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah. You, they allowed her, they allowed her future in college. Future of the country. 
Yeah, I told you know, yeah, I told her I I've never forgiven her mother for not going to the clinic. Yeah, that kid that opens <laughs> why you go to college. But yeah, I, re- I really gotta go, guys. Talk talk amongst yourselves. It'll be fine. All right, the show's over. Yeah, yeah. we gotta call the show now. Oh uh, yeah, we got ten seconds, yeah, so I guess that's about it. Yeah. All right. Oh, well. All right, see you later, kids. Show. Sure. Yep. Fish sandwich, now part of the two for five dollar deal, only at Burger King. Limited time only, price of participation vary.